you know those days where your eyebrows like no matter what you do they just come out absolutely horrible and no matter what you do they just won't be normal um i'm giving 2016 blocky eyebrow vibes but you know we're just going with it it's the best i can do this video is sponsored by greasy hair in a slicked back bun aka the mom bun so shout out to my sponsor Hi everyone, welcome or welcome back to my channel. My name is Kara, it's great to have you here. And I just wanna take a quick moment to thank all of my subscribers and new subscribers for joining me on this journey. I'm so thankful that you actually want to watch my videos and hear what I have to say, so thank you so much. Um, and feel free to leave a comment if there's any videos you'd like me to make. What do you enjoy? What would you like to see? Let me know, feel free to comment below and I'll try to get to them. But yeah, if you haven't already subscribed, I would love for you to subscribe and it shows the YouTube algorithm that I exist. So I would be so happy and grateful for you to join us. Okay, it is a beautiful, mm -hmm, a beautiful, a beautiful fall day here in New England. We're in the depths of October and I have a three week old baby. So there's really not that many fall activities that we can do because I'm still tired and exhausted, you know, from giving birth. So. I was trying to think of something fun we could do that gets us in the spirit of fall, but also is kind of like on our level right now for what we can be doing. Um, and here's the thing. I love fall. I love DIY crafts. I love babies. I love baby bums. They're so cute. And I love to eat. So I thought the perfect thing we could do is make a bumpkin plate. <laughs> It's a little plate with your baby's bum printed onto it in the color orange, and you paint it to look like a little pumpkin and commemorate this time in life. So we're gonna go get the supplies. Now I will tell you um, everything you need. It's super simple and easy, a very easy DIY. You're going to need ceramic plates. You can get one, you can get a few if you're gonna make a few. Acrylic paint that's dishwasher safe, some paint brushes, and you'll have to cure it in an oven. And of course, you'll need your baby's bum. So let's go get everything. Okay, and I have a question for the leadership at Dollar Tree. Um, who decided to not play any music? It's dead silent in there, it's so creepy. And there's always only one cashier. There's only one cashier just absolutely fighting for their lives. There's a huge line, dead silence, and she, you could just all you can hear is just her struggling and fighting for her life. So I don't know what's going on at Dollar Tree, or Dollar 25 Tree, but maybe, maybe fix that. <laughs> Okay, you saw we went to Carter's. Um, I couldn't help myself. It was right next to the Michaels. So let me show you just quickly what we got. I had to get this little jacket because it's getting cooler and he still fits in newborn size clothing. Like he's still pretty tiny in the newborn size clothing. So I feel like uh, we definitely need some warm layers in a small newborn size because it is getting colder and we don't have too many warm fuzzy outfits. So I got this little jacket. We got this little outfit with layers and a little zip up hoodie. I thought this was so cute. It says chill and it has little polar bears on the pants and it's just like a nice fleece, uh, what are these called, crew neck? Nice and comfy. All right, we got two fleece sleepers, nice and warm, footed pajamas. One has like snails and mushrooms and the other has wiener dogs. And then lastly, we got this Sherpa zip up onesie as just like a nice, extra cozy layer. Okay, so at the Dollar Tree, they had ceramic plates. They didn't have round ones, they had like this shape, but I think this will be perfectly fine. 
So I got two of these just so I can have an extra. At Michael's, I got this eight piece paint set. I think it was like $2. Um, they're definitely gonna be cheap, but it'll be perfectly fine for what we're doing. Then I got orange, green, and did I just call this orange? Orange, green, and black acrylic paint that's non-toxic and dishwasher safe. The black paint is for writing the words like Colton's first bumpkin. You can also just use a Sharpie. So I will experiment with this. If it doesn't go well, I'll probably maybe use a Sharpie, we'll see. But yeah, it's really simple. I will just use the sponge to paint his bum orange. And then I'll lay him on his tummy and I will come down with the plate and just press it onto his little bum and get the bum print. And then from there, I'll be painting the rest onto the plate. Oh, Bobby. Um. <laughs> Baby is hanging out with dad right now. That's why I can do all this talking. He pooped. Oh, he pooped? Okay. <laughs> the bumpkin patch with the two of his bum prints. Um, I think the 2023 could go the other way, but whatever. I think it, it, they both came out great. So the next step is to put them in the oven at 350 degrees, but not when it, not after it preheats, like put them in the oven and then set it to 350 so that it slowly can cure and elevate the temperature of the plate with the oven. So you put them in before it preheats, just put them in the oven, put the oven on 350 and leave them in there for 30 minutes. And then we'll go get them and just let them cool. I did also buy, uh, purchase this acrylic sealer, but I realized that this isn't food grade. So if you'd like to just have a decorative sealed plate, you can use this acrylic sealant and bake it. Uh, you just can't eat off of it. I think it's toxic, but uh, otherwise I would say don't use the sealant if you want to eat off of them. I don't really know if we'll be eating off of them, but just in case, I will put them into the oven without the spray. And if we decide later on down the road, we're not going to be eating off of them. We're just going to save them for decorative purposes. Then I have this sealant and I will use the sealant to make sure that they stay well preserved forever. Okay, they are in the oven. I forgot to mention, you'll want to put them on a baking tray first before you put them into the oven. So they're in there now uh, for half an hour and I'll see you back after that. They're still a little hot because 
because they just got out of the oven, so I'm wearing gloves. But I think they came out great and they're super cute and I thought maybe it'd be fun to have two little butt, butt prints make a bumpkin patch and then just have like the classic print right here. You know, he's a tiny baby. He's a little bit small for this, but we were just so excited we couldn't help ourselves. So a little bit, you know, smaller or more difficult with a brand new newborn, but you can do this with like any size baby. Just make sure your paints are non-toxic and we made sure he had a bunch of milk and was nice and happy and we did it quickly and we wiped his butt immediately after uh, and if you're really worried you can also do a test patch on the skin make sure everything's good uh, but yeah it worked out perfectly these look great we can eat off of them and if we don't want to eat off of them we can spray them with that adhesive that sealant and make them nice and have a nice glossy finish and preserve forever so i really hope you liked today's video uh, next week, we'll see. I think I'm gonna go back into doing more like newborn baby stuff. We'll see what happens. Um, but I really hope you liked today's video. If you like more DIY crafts type, type stuff, let me know. I'll be more than happy to do more on my channel. Um, thank you so much for sticking with me and subscribing. Please give this video a thumbs up and I will see you next week. Bye!